Hey, Greg's. Got any big vacation plans coming up? Yeah, we'll probably go up to Anchorage for Thanksgiving. Linda's sister lives up that way. But I'm also secretly planning a family trip to New York City for New Year's. Been saving for two years, and I got it all arranged under a fake email. That's really cool. I'd love to go there someday. And it's probably our last big trip before Lauren's off to college, so I wanted to make it count. I'm sure everyone will have a great time. Hey, Greg's. Huh. So, what's the criminal underbelly of Delos Crossing been up to lately? Eh, poachers, vandalism, a few memorable cases of public indecency. Nothing too serious. Which is fine by me. Boring is good. I don't like Juno. My daughter's always begging to move there, but that is not happening. Why? Juno's awesome. There's, like, actual things to do there. Drugs, that's why. Property crimes double the national average. People coming in all the time from... God knows where. Oh, I didn't know that. Hey, Greg's. Uh, never mind. You are not kidding about the cobbler. This may be her best batch ever. Right? What are you having? Trout pie and, uh, black radish. I'm on a diet. A cobbler diet? Hey, shh, 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 shh. I won't tell if you won't. <sighs> Whew. Hey, sorry I kept you waiting. No worries. You'll never believe it. We caught the mailbox bandit. And guess who it was? Let me guess. Some bored kid? Eh, wrong. It's a raccoon. Delos Crossing's most wanted turned out to be some trash panda stowaway. <laughs> and this is how legends begin. Anyway, hun, I'm so sorry to bail, but I gotta run this little guy to animal control now. Probably best I take a rain check. Oh, it's, it's okay. Totally, I understand. Duty calls. Thanks. Well, we need to try again soon. I feel so bad about missing your birthday. I thought about making you something, but I was a little strapped for time, so... No, I get it. With your brother back, I see where your priorities are now. What? No, no, it's not... Relax, I'm just kidding. I really gotta go now. Right, I'll call you later. And try to get some sleep, all right? See ya. Well, there go my lunch plans. Hey, your brother didn't tag along today? No. He didn't really want to show his face around here after the mess he made yesterday, huh? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. It got kind of out of hand. <laughs> Don't worry. We know it wasn't your idea, but look, we're all worried about you. This isn't the Allison we know. The Allison you know? Yeah, the sweet, smart girl who'd never hurt anyone on purpose. I know you two and the Chief made peace, but I gotta say, it ate at him all day. We did what we had to, to get what we needed. All right. I just want you to be careful. I've been doing this for a long time. And people... They mostly don't change. Even when we really want them to. Look, I'm really tired. Can we not do this? Allison, I like you. I really do. I've known you since you were a kid. You're honest. Stable. You're not a troublemaker. But Tyler... I mean... If he goes down, don't let him take you with him, okay? I... I can't... I can't do this. Oh, are you okay? Please, just let me go. I need air. I need some air.
you there? Tyler? Answer me, please! Fuck! Why is he ghosting me? God! I can't breathe! Please stop. Okay. Okay. I've been here before. This will pass. I'm scared. I don't know what these people are gonna be like. Or when I'm gonna see you again. We can still undo it. We can tell them what really happened. No way. It's done. That's it. You're gonna be there to talk on the voice if I need you, right? Of course. It'll almost be like we're still together. It's time to get going now. Come on. Wait, Chief. Just a sec. Hey, uh, kids. I, am. Uh, I went back to the house and got a few things for you. I know how much he's meant to you. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Oh, kids, I... <laughs> This is just goodbye till next time, okay? <laughs> Allison? What are you doing out here? It's freezing. I just needed some air. What happened? What's wrong, little moose? I think I had a panic attack. It's gonna be okay. Let's get you inside and warmed up. Then we can talk about what happened. I'm sorry. This morning has just been so... God, I'm embarrassed. Don't be. You haven't had an attack in a while. What's going on? I've just been so wrong. About everything. Did Tyler say something to make you feel that way? No. It wasn't him. It was me. I failed him. Over and over. From here, it looks like you've been busting your ass to help him. You don't understand. Allie, you 
you've got so much weight on your shoulders. With Tyler coming back and your big move, you know, maybe it's time to ease off some of this, some of this other stuff that's clearly stressing you out. If you mean Marianne, I can't. I owe it to Tyler to see it through. Do you? I don't know why you've always blamed yourself for that. It wasn't your fault. That's not true, Uncle. I was there. I... You were 11 years old. There was nothing you could do. You can't go on letting it haunt your every waking moment. <sighs> Look, you're not your mother, okay? What do you mean? I mean, something happened to her. Something bad. I don't know what it was, but... It never left her. You can't make that same mistake. You've got to tell those ghosts to move on. Uncle, it was me. I is the one who had the scissors. What? What, what, what are you saying? She, she was threatening Tyler. So I stabbed her. <laughs> I, I killed her. <laughs> I killed my mother. <laughs> <laughs> but Tyler confessed. He he went to fireweed. We lied. We lied to everyone. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> How? How could you let him take the blame? It was a mistake, I know. But we were in shock. And Tyler wanted to take the blame. And I let him. <laughs> We should have told the truth. <laughs> it must have really hurt. Keeping that inside all these years. They pretty much just bottled it up. And now it's all I can think about. <laughs> Everywhere I look, she's there. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy to admit something like that. It takes a lot of courage, Allison. I, I should have seen it. I, I'm so sorry. None of this was fair to you, too. How are you feeling now? Any better? Relieved, actually. And really tired. Oh. I was remembering something earlier. I don't know if it even really happened. The day Tyler left for Fireweed, 
Did Sam come by with some of our stuff? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He did. I remember he brought us our goblin figurines. And we had a big group hug. Yeah. He borrowed the house keys so he can go out and get them. He was over at our house a lot. Fixing things, chasing off animals. I know you didn't turn up anything about who our biological father was. But did you ever think it might have been Sam? Oof. Well, your mom and him were close, so that's a possibility, but I never found any proof, no. I should go talk to him. Are you sure that's a good idea? You need to get some rest. I have to do this. And not just for Tyler. For me too. I love you, Uncle. Thank you for everything. I'll call you later. Hi, Sam. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. So, um, I was over at the station and I was thinking about some things. Yeah? You've known us for a while. Your whole lives. You puked all over my slick denim button-up. That's a nice memory. <sighs> Can't put any of the chain or the valve covers back on. So, uh... Did you need something? I was hoping to. Uh, I actually wanted to check out your boat, is all. Uh, yeah. Well, all right. Uh, here she is. What are you doing? Ah, my cousin Billy bought an old motorboat, but that fool drowned the engine taking her out. <laughs> yeah, I told him I'd fix it. Are you gonna be long? I was hoping we could talk. I don't need my ears to fix an engine. What's up? I, uh... Never mind. So, um... What are you doing wandering around in the middle of the working day? I'm off today. Sam, could we talk now? It's a little important. Ain't that what we're doing? Uh, where's your brother? We had a fight. <laughs> Bit of sibling rivalry, huh? Oh, you should have seen me and my little brother have at it. Right up... Right up till the end. Are you gonna be long? I was hoping we could talk. I don't need my ears to fix an engine. What's up? I, uh... Never mind. Are you gonna be long? 
I was hoping we could talk. I don't need my ears to fix an engine. I haven't seen your boat in the water for a while. Uh, yeah, it was time for annual haul now. Haul out? Oh yeah. You gotta get her up out of the water so you can fix up the hull. And I've been uh, missing some tools I need, so it's taking a while. So, uh, how's she doing? Huh? You, uh, you go to her diner sometimes, right? Your friend works there? Oh, you're trying to ask me how your ex-wife is doing. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Um, we ate at the diner the other night. She was there. She had just cut all her hair off. Hmm. Yeah, she always wanted to do that. How is she otherwise? Sam, why don't you just talk to her yourself? I do. I talk to her. I ask about Richie and, and Dylan, too. She just doesn't really talk back. And maybe you should respect that. Right. Right. Are you gonna be long? I was hoping we could talk. I don't need my ears to fix an engine. What's up? I, uh... Never mind. How's the, uh... How's the house coming along? Slow. There's a lot to do. Of course. I mean, <laughs> there's a whole life. Uh, lives in there. Real shame. Find some corroded, rusty ass junker. That's a really nice sextant. Well, it sure is. It's a present for my old crew for my 30th birthday. It's beautiful. <laughs> well, it, it's mostly just for decoration these days, but... Hey, an encyclopedia of astronomy. I have this one. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Real detailed. I didn't know you were interested in astronomy. Well, how are you supposed to navigate if you don't know your ass from Orion? Impressive collection. If you want some, take them. I don't really navigate anymore. Uh, oh. Oh, uh, thanks. Oh, I know this one. The introduction will be forever burned in my brain. Mm. Your mother gave that to me. Really got me thinking about things.
Would this help? Oh, uh, thanks, princess, but that ain't it. It's, uh, it's in a red can. Not a princess. Ah! Oh, damn it! What happened? I busted my finger with that stupid wrench. Grab me a gauze. Should be in that cupboard over there. Sam, are you our father? <sighs> Figured you'd ask me that question someday. Well? I wish I was. What the hell kind of answer is that? I'm sorry, Ellie. But the man you're looking for, he ain't me. Oh, okay. Guess I'll just take your word for it then. Hey, you got no right coming in here, getting angry at me for something I got nothing to do with. But you two are so close. I know you meant something to her. You honestly think I would have let you two grow up without a father? I may be a deadbeat, but I'm no coward. But you must know something. I truly don't. Your mama, she never... Look, we were just friends. I mean, take a look at old Sam. No woman like Marianne would ever think twice about a guy like me. I'm so sick of this. I'm so tired of trying to unravel all of Marianne's fucking secrets. I don't... I don't understand her. I want to hate her so much. But I don't even know who she was. Come with me. I want to show you something. 